Hi, everybody. I am Leanne Lord, and I am the daughter of pack rats. Uh, I love my mom and I love my dad, but they didn't know how to throw anything away. Uh, so I have their stuff. I have my stuff. I have some of my grandparents' stuff. And so now I'm left with a house full of stuff. And it's, it's not a hoarder's situation, but I can see it from here. Um, basically my house is not a home. It's a mausoleum. How can I possibly move forward until I deal with all of this stuff? Um, I'll be working on it a little at a time, uh, cause it's just me, but on some level, you know, it, it's not, it's not just clutter. There's, there's serious emotional work here too because i'm i am sorting through other people's lives you know things that they thought were important to keep and some stuff they just didn't get around to throwing away and now i have to i have to decide what to keep what to toss what to cry about and then toss uh, some of that will be easy some of it not so much um, but maybe this way we can kind of do it together. Uh, that's my, my hope anyway. Um, I, last night and tonight, I, I spent a little time uh, sorting through the things that are in my mom's office. My mom has a little nook, a little home office nook that she hasn't used in years because my, my mom has Alzheimer's and uh, yeah, that part of her is gone. But the stuff is still here and it's, I don't know how, but it looks worse. It looks abandoned. And so I figured I'd start doing something with that. And it's, it's interesting. Uh, it's scary and interesting. Like some stuff is just easy to to make decisions about like and and this is just the beginning you know there's so much more but like you know just this 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 stack this little stack this is just one small little stack this is all mostly uh bank statements from years ago uh that money's gone uh, but I still got bank statements. And now here's the thing, I can't just throw this away. This will go in the shredding pile, but uh, it probably ended up being the shredding box that I have to schlep over to Staples because by the time I'm done, I'll, this is going to kill my shredder. And that's really not how I want to spend my time, you know, blowing out my eardrums, shedding years worth of bank statements. But yeah, so there, there's that. Uh, I found other stuff. You know, mind you, a bunch of this already went in the garbage, but I'm sharing. Um, my mom still had this book, How to Build a Better Vocabulary. Yeah, that ship has pretty much uh, sailed, I'm thinking. I mean, this book is from, the information is still valid. I'm not interested. It was first copyrighted in 1949, everybody. So old words, elderly words. Uh, renewed in 1977. Yeah, I think we're done uh, with this one. I'm going to let that go. Um, oh, what do we have here? We have a Kasingle. Do you guys know? Like, Yeah, Kasingle. This is Aretha and Elton John singing through the storm. Okay. And I was going to throw this in the garbage just just on the face of it, um, until I came across uh, this. This is a Walkman, clear and see-through. There's a tape in here. I don't even know what this is. Uh, let me see. This is, uh, y'all, y'all, I did not know this till this moment. This is Captain Antoniel. The shame of it, you guys, the shame, Captain and Tennille. So I have a, wa a clear Walkman, Captain and Tennille tape, no case, just the tape, and a single 
of Aretha Franklin and Elton John. It doesn't even have their full name. It's just Aretha and Elton because you're supposed to know who they are. Y'all, why? Listen, I'm showing y'all, but this is going out. This is, it's out. It's gone. Why would I keep that? Why would I keep that? I just, I, I, I don't know. Uh, and, and if we're talking tech, I have an old calculator here. Uh, this purpose would be served by my phone, but now when I take a closer look, I see why my mom kept it. It says compliments of Leanne Lord. When the hell was I in the calculator swag business? Like, I don't even recall when, how, or why I would have gotten this. Like, I feel like it was a sample and I didn't want it. You know, and you know, you, you have that time in your life when if you don't want something, you just give it to your mom. And I didn't realize what a mistake that would be that my mom would keep so much of this nonsense. Yes, it's going out, even though it has my name on it, because it doesn't work. How are you going to keep something that's broke, even if your name's on it? Um, I have, for whatever reason, a box of round head paper fasteners. Why, everybody? Why? Why does my mom have this? Ridiculous. It's gone going out. Uh, I have the Bible made easy. That was easy. What else do I, ah, more tech, more tech, everybody. I have a Franklin. Y'all seeing this? I have a Franklin dictionary and thesaurus. This is very pre-Google everybody this is post actual books and pre google and pre cell phones um this is adorable gone okay uh let's see i only got one more thing actually in the box but a few more things here this is a collection a monthly collections so i only have one month i only have one month a monthly collection of insights and inspiration called the good stuff and just to put this in its uh its timeline. Some of the contributors are dead. Uh, Ann Landers, Billy Graham, Omar Bradley, Mark Twain, Mark T Twain, totally dead. Uh, Muhammad Ali, Golda Meir, Calvin Coolidge, Beverly Sills, William James. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's good. Yeah. Yeah. One of my barometers is that if the house is on fire, if I wouldn't run in and grab that, we're not keeping it. So this is also an easy no-brainer to let go of. A 30% off for Insure, uh, but it expired in uh, 2014. Yeah, it's not like Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't think they're going to let me argue this one or slip it in under the radar. Uh, and what is it? This is a CD. This is a CD, a homemade CD, bootleg CD, mixtape CD. Um, it says, Happy Mother's Day 2010. So 10 years ago, I made my mom a mixtape. I have no idea what is on this. I have no idea how to find out what's on this. I don't own a CD player. I don't even have a laptop with a, a with a disc drive. I, not, no. So... I'm assuming that uh, what I put on here, she liked and enjoyed. This ship has sailed, everybody. We done. It served its purpose. As Marie Kondo would say, say thank you and let it go. Gone. Uh, I have, I have, I'll, I'll wrap it up. I'll have two buttons here. One, my, my mom was really into buttons. Like there was a time when everybody was into buttons, but my mom was really into buttons. And this says, uh, warning, your local police are armed and dangerous. Wow. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Uh, I'm a little torn. I'm a little torn. This one might, might, might go over here just for like a day, just for a day, just because of the, you know, I don't know. Um, and then I have this button. Uh, I love Rosa Parks. Okay, when do we not love Rosa Parks, right? Like maybe some dude that dated her in high school and she dumped him. Maybe that guy doesn't love Rosa Parks. But how do you throw away Rosa Parks? 
right? And now at some point, I am going to throw away Rosa Parks, the button, not Rosa, not the history, not everything that she meant and symbolized. Um, but I'm going I'm to put that over here because I'm weak. <laughs> it's late and I'm weak. And like I said, this is this stuff takes emotional work. This is stuff that, you know, my mom has accumulated. And when I tell you this is just the tip, oh, the iceberg, dude, so much stuff that, again, I, I'm throwing away most of it before I get to here. But I know that I'm not the only person struggling with this stuff. I mean, even if it's just your stuff, if, you, if you've lived on the planet for a minute and you're not a minimalist and you've, you've accumulated some things, we can't carry all of it. We just can't. Um, and, you know, if you Marie Kondo it, if you, if you clutter control it, whatever your thing is, you know, we, me, have, we have to get the stuff under control. So uh, thanks for watching the first episode, or not the first episode, well, the, first, the, the installment of whatever this is. Leanne cleans her ancestral home. Uh, and thanks for hanging in there with me and watching this. I hope some of this is hopeful. I hope some of it's funny uh, for you. And, you know, it helps you if you're cleaning your parents' house or your own house. So thanks for watching, you guys. Good luck. Good decluttering.